Well, North Korea's involvement in Ukraine has drawn China into a bit of a delicate act. Is Beijing in a tough spot now with North Korea's deployment in Russia's war in Ukraine? Well, to find out more and to decipher the exact details, we have with us China expert Professor Avinash Godbole. Thank you so much, sir, for making time for us on NDTV. Thank you for having me. Professor, how is China reacting to the increasing cooperation between North Korea and Russia? Does this shift in North Korean alignment actually signal any potential changes in China's foreign policy or strategic interests? Uh, well, I don't. I think China will not like uh, the recent development because it will put a lot of pressure back on China. First of all, it shows that there's an erosion of influence that China has had over Pyongyang. Uh, for uh, stability of the region and uh, for other uh, places. Uh, there's a possibility that the North Korean troops uh, that are fighting on behalf of Russia uh, are fighting along the Russian troops. And these are specialized uh, units uh, that are uh, supposed to take back uh, some of the provinces taken over by the Ukrainian forces. So their presence might be time bound. But again, for China, it creates uh, headaches. Uh, it, it's it's good. it's not good for them. It shows erosion of China's influence uh, in the region. Uh, it will mean there'll be more scrutiny of Chinese actions. There'll be more expectations uh, from them. And uh, what has helped China over the last three years was that Russia had become the bad boy in the world. Uh, and then uh, with this recent news, the focus will shift back to China. Uh, they, it, there'll be more expectations from China to act tough on uh, North Korea. And to uh, also, you know, it will put uh, in in question China's uh, neutrality position uh, in the uh, in the overall crisis. So far, uh, they have been criticizing Ukraine subtly that the crisis is because of the Western influence and the world should remain neutral. But China no longer can take that stance uh, as the things uh, stand today. In fact, many actually argue that the entry of North Korean troops risks a dangerous escalation in the Russia-Ukraine war, while also putting Beijing in a bit of a tight spot. But how could this new phase of North Korean-Russian cooperation then influence the stability of the broader East Asian region, sir? It will uh, destabilize uh, East Asia uh, because there's, a, there's, a, there's news that there are 10,000 soldiers already in Russia, about 6,000 uh, closer to the active uh, duty. And there's a possibility that the numbers will increase by another 2,000 by end of November, and then one more thousand, uh, so total 13,000 by end of December. So there'll be more pressure on uh, on China. There'll be more uh, satellite as well as uh, ground uh, presence. Uh, you know, we might see maneuvering of the American uh, naval ships closer to the uh, North Korean uh, borders, uh, the North Korean waters, as well as there's an intent by South Korea to send weapons to Ukraine now uh, that has been expressed over the last 48 hours. So this more active participation by uh, other countries uh, can take this situation to the uh, not just a bilateral war, but to a global war, uh, which it was uh, under the cover so far. But openly, it will become a more uh, multi-party multi war. And that is not good for China. China's economy uh, is not in good shape. They want stability. They also have to deal with Trump now, so uh, it makes things certainly difficult for China. Indeed. In fact, it can also raise serious questions as far as regional stability is concerned. Professor Godbole, Mao had once upon a time reportedly said that without the lips, the teeth are cold when describing China's relationship with North Korea. How does this historical analogy still shape China's strategic approach to North Korea today? Uh, well, China has since then become pragmatic. It is not exporting uh, communism to other countries, but then uh, they still want to maintain uh, North Korea the way it is. They would still like to avoid the American intervention uh, in the region. Uh, China has maintained a delicate balance of its uh, relations between Japan and South Korea. They have reinstated the trilateral dialogue which had uh, gone uh, down before COVID uh, only recently. So. Uh, China would want to maintain that stability in the North Korea. And the more pressure there is on North Korea uh, on economic terms, there's more pressure on China to act, uh, to provide aid, uh, to consider the prospect of refugees on its border as well, uh, if the North Korean regime were to collapse because of any other consequent actions by the Americans uh, later. So there, they want stability in the region and in the North Korea as well. 
from their selfish reasons as well hmm. uh, not so much because of ideological perspective anymore hmm. but from their selfish uh, strategic reasons uh, at this point i would think uh, dictates more